Have you been thinking about starting with calisthenics? Then make sure to watch this video to discover the three things that all beginners should know when starting with calisthenics. Before you actually start, it's very important that you know some of the most neglected topics that not everyone directly talks about. So to get you off to a good start without unpleasant surprises and with a good preparation, I'm going to discuss the three things that all beginners should know when starting calisthenics. And the best thing is that everything that I'm going to cover is carefully implemented in our calisthenics family workout app. So before I start, make sure to watch this video all the way till the end to discover our weekly giveaway. All right, so let's jump right into the first topic. The number one thing that you should know when starting calisthenics is that you will progress fastest in the beginning. At the beginning of your calisthenics journey, your body is not used to calisthenics training yet, so it will adapt relatively faster. That is why you will notice in the beginning that you're making a lot of progress in the basic exercises, such as the push-ups, the dips, the pull-ups and the squats. It's not rare to double your numbers in a short time. You will also progress relatively quickly with the start of some skills. For example, with a frog stand, a wall handstand, an L-sit, an elbow lever, and even with the start of a human flag. These skills are fairly easy to adopt and all of this makes calisthenics super fun and challenging and leaves us hungry for more. But after a certain period of training, also known as the fun beginner phase, most people hit a plateau and you should know that this occurrence is normal. But this is also a crucial point. It is the point where you either lose your motivation and give up, like most of the people, or where you can separate yourself from the rest through smart and effective training. At this point, it is important that you don't move forward too quickly and overtrain yourself. Your muscles may develop quickly enough, but your joints and tendons need more time to adapt. Unfortunately, I had to experience this myself too. So take a step back here to get stronger in the basics and to perfect the technique of all exercises. And this leaves me at the second thing that all beginners should know when starting calisthenics. And that is that you should master the technique of all exercises from the very beginning. Unfortunately, we still see many people performing incorrect technique on the most basic exercises, let alone on more complicated skills. This is not something to be ashamed of, because if you have never been taught it properly, there's very little you can do about it. But unfortunately, this makes a very bad start to your calisthenics journey. If you take this wrong technique with you in your further progress, you will surely get injuries and also don't have the basis to master difficult exercises with the correct form. So common mistakes that we see are for example, execution of exercises that don't move in the full range of motion, such as half pull-ups or half push-ups. Incorrect posture in the scapula position, for example, with the elbow plank or with the tucked planche. Bad body alignment, for example with an arch handstand or banana back lever, or more basic in a superman hold. Also incorrect or no core engagement during strength movements such as the bar tricep extensions. And finally, incorrect position of the joints during bent arm or straight arm exercises, for example during a human flag. So make sure to master the technique of all exercises from the start. For this, you will have to put your ego aside, because the exercises will be much heavier and more difficult to perform. But in the end, it's all worth it and you will reap the benefits of this more than three times over. The third and final thing that you should know when starting calisthenics is that good mobility and flexibility is key for optimal performance. A big reason why most of the people fall in love with calisthenics is because of all the amazing calisthenics skills you can learn, such as the handstand push-up, a human flag, a press to handstand, a back lever or a planche. But unfortunately, most people, including myself in the beginning, don't take into account that all these exercises require good mobility and flexibility from our joints and muscles. For example, any form of handstand training requires good shoulder mobility. A straddle human flag requires good hip mobility. A press to handstand requires good hamstring flexibility. And a scorpion handstand requires backbend flexibility. However, most of the people today are stiff due to all the sitting at school or at work and the people that do go to the gym are mostly doing a lot of repetitive short range of motion training where mobility is reduced rather than improved. So incorporating mobility and flexibility routines from the start of your calisthenics journey is super essential and really the only way to achieve great things in calisthenics and to ultimately fully control your own body. 
This is one of the reasons why in our calisthenics app we have incorporated several beginner and intermediate mobility and flexibility routines that you can combine with your strength training for optimal performance. Alright guys, there you have it, the three things that all beginners should know when starting with calisthenics. Please make sure to implement them into your training to avoid injuries and to ensure long-term training performance. If you're after watching this video keen to start with calisthenics, then check out our calisthenics family workout app. This app has over 500 calisthenics videos and 40 plus different courses that can take you from an absolute beginner to pro. You can start the programs for free, so make sure to download the app in a Google Play or App Store and give this a try. Lastly, let's get into this week's giveaway. This week we will give away one set of our Calisthenics family resistance bands, so one of you is set for a good start. So how to win? Like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment within the first 7 days after publishing this video. The winner will be announced in next week's video. So last week we gave away one set of our parallels with optimal grip and the winner will appear right here in the screen. Congrats! Let me know in the comments what thing you found most valuable of this video and if you have something else to suggest that people should know when starting calisthenics. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and put your notifications on so you don't miss the giveaway winner and I'll see you next week. Peace out.